Good morning, Abby. It's Friday, and who wants to go to a pony party? Just kidding. It's an incredibly depressing book about Lemony Snicket. Deal with it. On a different, but still Lemony Snicket related note, I just got done reading all the wrong questions, like what, two hours ago? And like, I have some thoughts. So if you haven't read that book series yet, turn off your computer right now, because I'm about to stop, start dropping all of these spoilers. Literally, all of them. Are they gone now? Good. Okay, so Ellington, the girl who got 100% hashtag roasted by Lemony last episode, her, she finds out that her father, the person that she has been trying to rescue from Hangfire this entire time, is in fact Hangfire. Oh no! So Lemony, being the sensitive soul that he is, he's Ellington's crush, by the way. That that makes what's about to happen so much more worse. But um, Lemony, he understands all of the emotional conflicts that Ellington is probably feeling right now. And so he does what anyone who thinks that their decisions through rationally would do. He pushes Ellington's father into the maw of a giant carnivorous ocean beast right in front of her, where she can see him doing it. And then he just leaves? <laughs> I'm not kidding. He stands around and gives everyone this Scooby-Doo speech of like, Oh, it was him the whole time. And then he turns to his friends and he's like, Hey, you, you're in charge of fixing up this town now. And he does try to get Ellington out of jail. I, I do appreciate that. That's props to Lemony for that. And then he realizes that his sister and Ellington are sharing the same jail cell. And he's just like, they'll break out of prison on their own. And instead of, like, waiting around until they break out to maybe go and, like, do some activity with them, he's just like, they'll be fine. And then he just leaves town. Like, who? <laughs> One complaint I often hear about a series of unfortunate events and its related books is that the story's themes are far too unsubtle. And, like, yes, I get that with, like, the main th main themes, but I think one of the far more subtle themes that I enjoy a lot more is the theme that both sides of the schism are kind of bad people. And, like, I know that that sounds outrageous to say, because it's like, oh, one side is full of nice people who like books, and the other side is full of a bunch of crazy arsonists. But, like, the good volunteers do bad stuff all the time. Like, there's that, that ending, ending, that I just mentioned. I still can't believe that's how the entire freaking series ended. Like, I was having a good time, and then they just ruined it. And then, like, you know, there's that time in the main series where the Baudelaire orphans set an entire hotel full of side characters on fire. And then, like, even talking about, like, the entire organization as a whole, there's a bit in the unauthorized autobiography where Snicket describes how when he was a baby, VFD just kind of showed up at his house in the middle of the night in an, a completely unconspicuous black man, dragged him out the kitchen window by his ankles, and then just, like, left. <laughs> and he talks about it as if this is standard procedure for the volunteer fire department. Because, you know, that isn't shady at all. We aren't told specifically what Snicket does at, like, VFD Elementary, I guess is what I'm gonna call it. That's probably a really stupid name, but whatever. But, like, it sounds pretty terrifying, because he says that he learned what the word arson meant before he was in, like, preschool, and, like, it just, it sounds like they're teaching these kids how to, like, fall into trees properly, and how to basically just, like, not die in harrowing situations, and it's, like, it sounds like a pretty horrifying way to spend your childhood, and, like, you have to wonder, is it okay for the volunteer fire department to, I hate to use the word indoctrinate, because it's such a loaded term, but, like, for the lack of a better word, indoctrinate, these kids into, like, being part of their super-secret spy organization just because their parents were. And, like, not to mention all the crap that the adult members of VFD have seen. Like, I guess not all of it can be attributed to VFD, but, like, a, a, a good portion of it. So, I have to say, if someone walked up to me and was like, hey, you want to join the volunteer fire department, I would, I would tell them no. Like, when they first showed up in the books, I was like, oh my goodness, they're spies, and it's a book club, sign me up now. But, like... Honestly, it sounds like a pretty horrifying way to spend your life. Abby, we only have 10 days left in this video challenge. Oh my goodness, and I will see you tomorrow.